Well, good day, my friends. I'm back in Elkhart, Indiana, and I saw they have an RV museum, and I really want to check it out because the photos look pretty amazing. They have some really far out designs, and I'd like to show them to you. Days with Jordan the Lion, it begins right now. Just as we're pulling in, they even have a Philadelphia Eagles themed RV. I know we won't see Cousin Eddie's because I've seen that before, but we might see some famous RVs, who knows? I love the architecture of the building. Museum and Hall of Fame. The idea of an RV is really nice, but uh, just working with the pace that I do and the places I go, it wouldn't be practical for me, but if you're the kind of person that likes to go and set up somewhere for like a couple of weeks at a time, it's a fun experience, it's ideal. One side is manufactured housing and one side is RVs. It says there's an RV for everyone. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I guess you'd consider these an RV as well. I know like actors have them where they're like two floors, three floors. And I like that you can actually get up in there. So we're gonna. See how people with money live. I just personally wouldn't feel comfortable driving something this big. I think I'd want a driver. But it's pretty cool. Look at that. Very posh. Very modern. You have all the appliances that you could need. Entertainment area. And there is a uh, staircase but they ask you not to go up there and then showers and there's our bedroom it's actually pretty roomy pretty roomy for what it is. Oh, and we can go in this one that I passed. I didn't realize that. It's kind of a good tailgating option. A nice camping option. The J Flight. From Jayco. Smaller option. Oh, and there's another sleeping area for kids or additional guests. Oh. Huh. That would be your bathroom, of course. Now this one's neat, I like the painting on the side. <laughs> Being hauled by an old car. Take a look in here. Smaller option, but you could definitely be comfortable in here. Probably a pull-out style bed. I love the way they painted it. It's kind of like a log cabin. 
That's great. Now we go in the Founders Hall. This one's a 1913 Earl Travel Trailer with a Model T Ford. The oldest travel trailer in the world, custom made for Caltech professor by a Los Angeles carriage maker. Cool, wow, that's nice. And then this says this is a 1916 telescoping apartment. <laughs> so there's like a bed back here. That's cool. <laughs> and it's attached to this car. I'm not sure why they put the plant in front of it, but. Oh yeah, and you have your camping gear and stuff on the outside here. And then we, here we have an Airstream, 1958, 22-foot Airstream. It says that there's a yellow rope to not go in. So, oh cool, an Airstream guitar. <laughs> That's neat. Late 50s living. We just checked that out as much as we could, but this was a an attachment, the little prints that you could have got as an option. Just haul it. 1916 Cozy Camp Tent Trailer. They have a lot of them here, so we're not gonna look at them forever. Just give you an idea of how they, how they would have been used and move on and they were they were nice enough to put them in like chronological order look at that another camp trailer the Zagelmeyer I think I just heard the people in front of me they've been talking up a storm I think I just heard them say something about Mae West trailer this is the kind of stuff I came for look at this I can't wait to see the details. 1928 Pierce Arrow Fleet House Car. See some flowers and stuff through there. Kind of like a train. Okay, this says this is the 1939 Lindbergh Travel Trailer, designed by engineer of the Sir Francis Drake Hotel. The trailer was custom built for famous aviator Charles Lindbergh, hence its name. <laughs> During his day, Lindbergh captivated the American public, having vaulted himself from obscurity to worldwide acclaim as the first pilot to complete a solo non-stop transatlantic flight. Seems like the Henry Ford Museum has a like a little travel trailer that he used also because they were friends. I think they made it for him. I mentioned Mae West. This is what they were talking about right here. It's called the Mae West House Car. Nineteen thirty one Chevrolet Base Custom Made House Car was one of the enticements offered by Paramount Studios to get Mae West to leave Vaudeville Circuit and begin to make movies for them. So they even have like a little advertisement for it there. Her book, you can see how it would have been driven. That's really cool to see. <laughs> wow. Nice and spacious. It says it features a small hot plate stove, an ice box, small table to enjoy lunch, or a spot for tea. 
she could take it from her home or hotel to different locations. She had a rocking chair on the back porch where she could enjoy the breeze when appropriate. So they call this area back here back porch. No rocking chair there now, but that's really fascinating to see. And over here we have Tennessee Traveler. Model AA Ford house car. Nice seat. This is actually pretty cool. Really nice. That is really nice. We'll check this one out too. 1935 Bolus Road Chief. Oh wow. <laughs> we can't go inside, but maybe I can zoom our way through. Fun with dogs. Little area in here. And then look towards the front. That's pretty neat. That one looks like a trolley. A Weidman house car. That's interesting that that's what they were called. They were called house cars originally. I never knew that till today. And then you could even push the windshield out for a nice breeze. 1933. Ford camp car. Feels like a military vehicle to me. And on the back you would have had this attached. Or could. Old radio. This is interesting. Look at this old camper. Gilkey Camp King tent trailer. Like the floors. Nice fishing and hunting camper trailer. Nineteen thirty six Road Home Coach. Like I said, I'm just showing you the best I can because if they have a rope, they don't want you to go in there. I'm loving this. This place is so great. The Hunt House Car. Let's look at the front of it. Looks like a some sort of bug. You're cooking right here. The Saroy Scotty twelve foot travel trailer. Donated by John Saro. The Scotty must have meant Scotty Ware right there on that box. 
That would make sense. Interesting walls. And of course, I want you to come check this place out so I'm not showing you every single trailer here. Just enough to pique your interest. Gosh, what a trip back in time. I love posting these kind of videos too of like these kind of nice historic things because people always have comments of like, oh, my family had one of those. Or I remember my family taking a camping trip and we borrowed one of these. Nice floor, once again. This is called the 1954 Yellowstone Trailer. Kind of understand why. Look, it has a, a back door as well. In these kind of places, it's pretty much impossible because they have lights everywhere. There's so much to see here. Here's one we can go on, it looks like. The Holiday Rambler trailer. <laughs> Again, I like the floors. And the upholstery and everything. <laughs> oh, like hammock style bedding up here. Then closet. Of course, just no bathroom. It looks like we can go on this one also, the Mustang. 1966 Mustang trailer. Man, what a trip back in time. A lot of these are. Oh yeah, just a little bed back there. Lavatory. Oh, let's see, we got a couple here that we can look inside of. 1968 carriage travel trailer. Whoa, look at that flooring. <laughs> and the interior, wow, definitely tells a story. No real reason to go in it though, because this is pretty much all of it other than just a bathroom and shower in here. An Apache Chieftain. Fleetwood, let's see what's in here, 1950 Fleetwood Sporter, sixty-eight Jayco Jayhawk, I feel like I've heard that before. those curtains yes the upholstery yes everything that is just amazing no bed in this one probably can turn that those into a bed they probably meet up in the middle and can probably do two beds in here Stites chassis mount truck trailer those are probably where my, 
I remember people in our neighborhood growing up having these kind of things. This was probably my introduction to people that RV'd or live this kind of life. You can't go any further, unfortunately. They got the rope here, so. Let's look here. Nice bathroom. Oh, wow. Why is your shower right there? Oh, you're standing. Your toilet is in your... Wow. Interesting. This is what we've been looking in the back of. Oh yeah, look at the love van. The feeling groovy. <laughs> the real deal here. We have a 1968. I'll try and show you that hood without getting my reflection in there. So let's take a look inside. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, 1974 GMC Motorhome. This should have been in a movie. <laughs> wow. Shag carpeting. Oh, we are allowed in this one, so. Wait till we check that one out. Wow. <laughs> wow. The appliances, the colors and stuff are just amazing. Oh, let's check this out. This looks pretty posh. Would George Jones own it or something? Nineteen seventy seven GMC motorhome. This one's fancy. This is like all leather. That's very fancy. Oh, there's your don't forget your drinks. now for this one. Oh, it has a West Point tag on it up here. It's called the Star Street 2. It's way more impressive on the outside than on the end, I would say. Definitely. Like I said, the the outside is way, way, way cooler than the inside. Some people may not like this, but I actually think it looks pretty cool. Like something out of Star Trek. The next RV we are going to see is from some YouTubers that did Route 66 with it called Keep Your Daydream Kid. All right, and they do have it open, even though it's pretty dark in there. We'll see what we can see. I've never heard of their YouTube channel, so. Route 66 upholstery and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
very dark in here. Sorry about that. I do love this though. I love that they did Route 66 and that it's all themed for Route 66. They did all this too. That was part of their story was that they they bought it and fixed it up for their trip. And it looks like this is our, maybe our last one. I'm not really into the modular homes, so I was just coming to, oh nice, Gemini Giant. Nineteen eighty six Executive Diplomat Edition. Man, I wish they'd leave the lights on for some of these. You can see way better. Lots of seating in this one. I think the highlight, oh nice, an old TV. I think the highlight had to be the May West, right? Seeing the vehicle that they gave to May West to make her sign with Paramount and quit doing vaudeville. It's pretty awesome. We can go back further, it's just gonna be dark, so. Big bed too. That one I feel like someone should buy and just redo the whole inside. It's just so cool. Oh, one last one we haven't gotten to see yet. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We are gonna call it a day. Thank you all for watching from the RV Museum and Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. Have a great night and goodbye.